So you think that having a hole in their heart and radical scoliosis would be kind of unique for the Herbie Fund, but back to Toronto. Let's meet Jillian Fernandez. I had about three, I believe, three to four holes in my heart, and that's what needed to be repaired. And you also had, had, had a spinal issue as well. I did. I had scoliosis. I think for me, I was very lucky because I got treated at SickKids for the heart issue, obviously. Yeah. And then I kept coming back every two years. But once we immigrated to Canada in 2001, I was also able to get treated for scoliosis here. Do you ever consider what your life might have been like without that surgery? Chances are I might not even be here, yeah. right? If serious congenital heart disease is left untreated, then you know, it has serious effect on the child with the, usually the development of heart failure and often uh, cyanosis, low oxygen saturations, and, and that really affects their growth and development. You know, we don't see patients getting into such an extreme state in Canada because, you know, we uh, generally do the repairs very early on. Um, but the patients that come through the Herbie Fund are usually quite extreme because they're much older and they've had heart disease for a long time. These children, if it wasn't for the Herbie Fund, you know, they would most likely be palliative in their communities. Desperation. It dominates the lives of the parents. The stress factor is off the charts. It has a profound effect on all family members. The pressure means that eventually the parents are going to get sick, meaning they can't work to make money to look after the rest of the kids in the household. It's a downward spiral. I know that my parents were probably scared and probably didn't know what to do. And I was one of the lucky ones where the doctor that had looked at me at, in Karachi back home had known someone um, and had studied, I believe, with, uh, with one of the doctors at the Herbie Fund. And that's the kind of the only way it came around. Many of the surgeons who do the, the surgeries uh, at the Herbie Fund, they see it again as part of their, uh, almost their Hippocratic oath of, uh, you know, yes, serving the needs of the local population, but actually getting tremendous um, satisfaction out of the fact that they can also make an impact globally. Uh, it's why many of them, while doing surgery on Herbie Fund patients, also choose to travel and do work in developing healthcare capacity in other parts of the, the world. It's why SickKids actually has, as our vision, healthy children, a better world. Because at, at the end of the day, we hate to see suffering and we want to celebrate the fact that we can do something positive in these kids' lives. Yeah, I really do attribute um, the Herbie Fund and the, 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 the surgery and the care that I received at SickKids for me being here today. And it really has impacted and influences a lot of the choices that I've made in life. It has always created this need to want to give back to the community, to give back to this city, to this country. And that's what I've always tried to do. And it's what I do now. I work uh, with the Canadian Forces in the Reserves and I serve as a CIC officer, Cadet Instructor Cadre Officer. So I work with the kids that come in their uniforms. Um, and it's my way of giving back to the country. And I volunteer for the Toronto Police Auxiliary. It's my way of giving back to the city. And doing this with you today is my way to try and give back a little bit to this program of the immense amount that it's given me. On the subject of giving, your crucial donations to the Herbie Fund are more important than ever before. 100% of every dollar you donate goes directly to saving the lives of these children, and the surgeons donate their world-leading skills. We are so grateful to the donors. I mean, honestly, these children would die at home if they didn't have their, their hearts fixed. You know what? We have so much to offer, and thankfully for people who are willing to dig into their pockets and uh, and donate it gives us the ability to bring more kids here and and let us do life-saving surgery there is no question in my mind that uh, we will continue to support uh, kids through the herbie fund um, you know, uh, for as long as there is a need for the hospital for sick children you don't know the difference you can make in someone's life and the life that you can touch that you will never know. And really, honestly, it's a story and it's a lesson I've taken to heart. I thank the people that contributed without knowing to my surgery, whether it was blood, whether it was donations to the sick kids, whether it was donations to the Herbie Fund, because frankly, I don't think I would be here without it. To date, 
The Herbie Fund has helped over 900 children from 110 countries to get the life-saving and life-altering surgeries they need at Sick Kids Hospital here in Toronto. But we're not done yet, folks. Please, if you can, make a donation at HerbieFund.com and make a world of difference.